Right, so I've got a wee balance board where basically all of the battery connectors were so badly corroded they were just rusted away on the little pins. But instead of sending it to landfill, what I thought I'd do is I'd try and get it fixed. Uh, obviously, wee balance boards aren't worth a lot anymore and you're probably better off throwing it away and buying another one second hand if you wanted one. But for a couple of pounds, you can actually buy the battery connectors that you need from AliExpress and it took a few days to come and you can buy a pack of five posted for about two pounds two pounds fifty sorry i've got really bad hay fever today um end of june but anyway they look like this and they've got the springs on one side and the battery connectors on the other they're also called like gamecube or nintendo whatever but i'll put a link in the description to them anyway if you want to buy some so all i've done is i've unscrewed the whole thing uh, this is what you need to do to get the bottom off. So on the bottom, you've got the feet in the corners. It's three screws for those. So you need to unscrew the feet first in each corner and then keep those safe. And then you'll find loads more screw points, uh, fairly standard screws. You can unscrew those. And then a bit more hidden underneath the sticker, you'll find four screw points. So you've got to break those, unfortunately, and go through those to get to the screws. And then once you've done that, you should be able to just lift off the cover. Now the battery compartment will be, I just to try and think which way around it is, will basically be inserted something like this. And the two screw holes match up with those two screw holes on the board and it gets screwed in like that. So then once you've unscrewed those two screw holes, screws, you can just lift it off and you've got your battery compartment out. So there's a pair in there, pair there, pair there, and then either side are the ones on the board itself. This one is missing the um, spring parts, but what I'm gonna do, instead of unsoldering it all and taking it off the board, uh, I'm actually, because I haven't got one of those angled ones, I'm gonna just try and put the springs back on it. So, so far, all I've really done is cleaned it all up with a bit of alcohol to get rid of some of the uh, brown sort of battery acid. And then I've managed to pull out the old ones. Now, they're quite difficult to get out, but really all I've done is I've got some long nosed pliers, which I had here somewhere. Uh, and I've basically just uh, grabbed, gripped onto them and actually just yanked them out like teeth um, just pulled them out and I've left that one in there because it's a good one the springs are good on that one and now I'm all well, now I'm basically going to do is fit the other ones the new ones back in place should be a matter of just clipping these things in hopefully we will see won't we has got a slightly different uh a bottom clip but it just goes in you can see it just goes in front of the plastic really so you've really just got to make sure that you get uh, that part in properly if you're going to have it in front of that plastic part which might mean bending the front of it a little bit you can always bend it back into place once you've got it in Yeah, it's nearly there. You could obviously just push it down as well if you've got like a blunt screwdriver. So on here, you can probably see that the wound up pieces of the springs are behind the plastic cover. So you need to make sure the same thing's happening on this one as well in order to fit it in.
Right, so I've managed to get these in. You can you see the two new ones down the bottom here? All you've got to make sure is that these arm pieces are behind the clip. Uh, and then that clip is pushed back so that underneath they kind of go behind the plastic piece, put behind a small grey plastic piece. And then they should just spring load and push onto the batteries and hold them in place. They're not a perfect fit. I don't know if you can see, but the spring here on there, the wound piece of the spring is slightly smaller than these ones that came. Um, but they do just fit in. They do the job, but they don't fit in just as well as the smaller ones. And I've got the spring part off of one of the other pieces that I bought. So I'm just going to put this Maybe that isn't going to come off there, I thought it would. Yep, they're in place. That's it. So next, I just need to get that. I don't know if you can see this or not, but the little bit metal on the bottom need to push that forward so that the spring and clip on it then I can push it back and then we've got our new battery connector in place which is great. And we're ready to put it back together and give it a test. Right, so I'm gonna, before I put it all back together, I'm just going to insert this in here. Yeah, that is in place. I'll put the batteries in. Don't know if these batteries are any good. Just want to see if that light comes on first before I put it all back together, of course. Right, so the batteries are in place. Wait. It's on. It's working. You see that? Good. So that was quite an easy fix. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically screw it all back together. If you're having trouble getting these in it's just a matter of turning the discs of the feet around and they seem to slot into place otherwise they will not fit down snugly so just keep rotating these pieces and they will eventually go down
So that's it, all done. Uh, quick and easy change. I must admit, just screws that you see here and in each corners, and then just changing the um, battery pieces out. And there's a few spares as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon.